All right, intro started. Oh, you the Wi-Fi on this thing. All right. All right, Chris. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on, this is my game. Is Hopkins undefeated too? Um, I think they might be. I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, Meg. Deerfield High School Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Today's game, arguably the game of the year in local high school baseball, the unbeaten Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks take on the undefeated Frontier Red Hawks. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, Alec Gecko, Megan Self, the whole gang out here on a perfect day in South Deerfield for uh, Tom. What's going to be, I think, one we'll be talking about for a long time if things go uh, as the, uh, they appear to be on paper. Yeah, Tyler Bernoski, he is uh, pitching great for Frontiers. 17 innings pitched, no <laughs> earned runs, and uh, I think 17 strikeouts. Bernoski came in in relief on Saturday in a game people were still buzzing about, that great comeback win over Amherst. And he'll be opposed on the mound by Jack Feltovic, the ace for the Hopkins Academy Hawks. So it's Braden Tudrin leading off, followed by Koji Ishida, Deltavik, Pat Fitzgibbons, Andrew Siaglo, Jake Smith, Liam Flynn, Chris Mashensky, and Cooper Beckwith for Hopkins Academy. And we'll reset Frontier's lineup when they come up in the bottom of the first. Baranowski on the hill, and here we go from South Deer. If they want to be the pitch, called strike down the middle, nothing in one. Way to come out strong for uh, Tyler. As you mentioned in the pregame and before we went on the air, he is a power pitcher. He's not much of a finesse guy. That was just a straight fastball swing and a miss. 0-2 to Braden Tudrin. Yeah, now he's really got to protect the plate. And, uh, maybe you'll see one of Tyler's nasty curves. Baranowski. And a fly ball to center field. It's shallow, but pulled in for the out. And the catch made by Jake Dodge out in center field. One up, one down. And the batter will be the left fielder, Koji Ishida. Hopkins has wins over South Hadley and Belchertown. The Belchertown win a convincing 11 0 shellacking. Baranowski's pitch inside corner, strike one. I don't think Baranowski's thrown a ball yet. Everything pinpoint. The wine and the deal. High for a ball. The jinx to one and one in the count. High just missed up top. Ball two. Two and one the count. To a shooter. Yeah, good hitters count here. Uh, I tell he's got to work his way back. He just missed with that one. And a high ball three. So suddenly, a shoot is ahead on the count three and one. Fly ball just over shortstop. It was a short pop up and pulled in by Barnes. So two up, two down as Koji was not taken on that one. And the batter's gonna be the pitcher, Jack Feltovic. 
Yeah, two quick outs for uh, Frontier, two fly outs. Replays by uh, Jake Dodd and Kyle Barnes. Baranowski pitch just missed low, ball one. It felt if it gets on, the cleanup hitter Pat Fitzgibbons, the right fielder, will dig in for Hopkins. Just outside, 2-0 and the count. Feltovic's a big kid. He'll be an imposing presence on the mound. Yeah, pitcher, first pitcher here. Right down the pipe. 2-1 the count. Ground ball up the middle. And knocked down, but still goes into center field, so... A nice play to stop it, but Feltovic is on with an infield hit. That'll bring up Pat Fitzgibbons with two out. And if he gets on, the shortstop Andrew Siaglo is on deck. Ground ball to third. Kuczynski goes to first. Good stretch. Oh. Great stretch by Bryant. And he is cut down four to three. So that was Jake Bryant that made that play, although Kuczynski was able to come up with a clean. And we'll go to the bottom half of the first. No runs. One hit, one left on. It's Hopkins nothing. Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Starting lineup for the Frontier Red Hawks. Kyle Barnes leads off. He's a shortstop, followed by Jake Dodge in center field, batting second. Batting third, Ben Martino had a big game for Frontier. Helped key that comeback on Saturday against Amherst. He plays second base. Jacob Bryant, the first baseman, bats cleanup. Kevin Bauman's in right field, batting fifth. Liam Skabiski Bennett will hit in the number six slot. Alex Kaczynski playing third base, bat seventh. Dylan Martin is the catcher. He bats eighth. And Sam Schreiber, the left fielder, bats ninth. And on the hill, of course, as we mentioned, Jack Feltovic for the Frontier, uh, for the uh, Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. Feltovic is a senior and one of the elite pitchers in the Hampshire, in the, actually in all of Western Mass right now. Yeah, him and Tyler Branowski both are just outstanding pitchers. And this game is going to be a ri one in the history books, you know. It's entirely possible it could get them to come down to one run to where these guys throw the ball. Yeah. So Barnes, lefty bats. Free to dig in. Quick conference on the mound, and the Golden Hawks are ready to go here. And a quick conversation at the mound. <laughs> and Barnes is ready to go. Um, be ready. Great pitch by uh, Koltovic. <laughs> Koltovic winds and deals. Swing and a miss. <laughs> now uh, Kyle's got to protect here. Two strikes on Barnes. Oh, the kicks and fires just outside. One and two the count. Ground ball, the second. Call it up for the first, and Barnes is retired four to three. That'll bring up Jake Dodge. 
Did you use that one? How was it? That was Cooper Beckwith in the put out for Hopkins. Dodge playing center field today. Ran into some trouble in the second inning pitching against Amherst, but uh, Frontier was able to come all the way back with 10 unearned, uh, actually unanswered runs. Strike one right down the middle. One one to Dodge. Jake, a transfer from Turner's Falls who came to Frontier. Had a great football season. Feltovic winds and deals. Just low. Dodge showing bunt. And that was a curveball. Yeah, now he's not probably not going to bunt on two strikes. Probably not. Uh, swing and a miss. So Dodge goes down swinging. Two up, two down. And the batter will be Ben Martino, the second baseman. Yeah, and he's having a great year so far. I'm pretty sure he's been uh, like 537. Well, that big triple on against Amherst really keyed that comeback. And that was what got the whole thing going in that sixth inning rally. That's the thing about his frontier team. You can't sleep on them. If you think you're going to lead, you better stay right on top of them because they, they love to come back and lead in. That's, that's their hallmark. Delta Vic, curveball, strike. 0-1 to Martino. Megan, is mine over Swing and a miss. 0 oh 2 to Martino. If he gets on, Jacob Bryant will be the hitter. <laughs> Felt a bit kicks, deals, just missed high. That just missed. 1 and 2 the count. <laughs> Ground ball foul on the third baseline is Martino got a piece of it to stay alive. No camera action Yeah, way to protect the uh, protect from striking out there. Did you bring a chair out there? Yeah. I told him he could. Two strikes to count to Martino. One and two. Outside. Ball goes to the backstop. Even the count at two balls and two strikes. Yeah, so Feltovic having some really nice speed and as well as Tyler on the mounds. Curve ball just high. That pulls up the count. 3 2 to Martino. <clears throat> oh, and he gets a hold of one. Center field. But hauled in for the up that retires the side. So we got three down for Frontier. We're at the bottom top of the first. Frontier nothing, Hopkins nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball and Frontier Community Access Dome. We go to the top of the second inning. The batters will be Siaglo, Jake Smith, and Liam Flynn for the Hopkins Academy Hawks. No score on the scoreboard. And Tyler Baranowski warming up. Don't forget, Friday, got some softball action for you here on YouTube and on FCAT as Frontier will host Athol. And we'll see if there's any kind of a, of a letdown because the night before that game, Frontier goes to Turner's Falls for a showdown with the Thunder. <coughs> Again, what's being considered one of the games of the year. Frontier just suffered their first loss to Greenfield recently, but we'll have the game 4 o'clock. 
here on YouTube on Friday. It's Andrew Siaglo, the shortstop. There's always a Siaglo, it seems like, in every Hopkins lineup. Ball one high to Siaglo. Talking about a, f a history and a family tradition. Oh, boy. <laughs> high ball two. I'll tell you, if he gets on, he's definitely going to be a threat to, to run. Yeah, he looks he looks like he's pretty quick. He's got great wheels. Of course, we saw that in the basketball court enough times. Ooh. Fly ball to right center for left left center field rather right center field. Hauled in for the out. So Siago is retired, and the batter will be the catcher, the freshman Jake Smith. Normally, a second baseman is doing the catching today. And that was a great catch by Sam Schreiber on left, left field. <laughs> Fouled off, strike one. Baranowski winds and deals. Curve ball. Ground ball to second. Gobbled up for the first. And two quick outs for the Hawks. Yeah, great play there by uh, Ben Martino. It's Jake Bryant. <clears throat> and the batter is going to be the first baseman, Liam Flynn. He's a lefty. Strike on the outside corner, nothing in one. Megan, you using his camera too now? <laughs> Just outside, even the count of one ball, one strike. Baranowski kicks and deals just outside. Two and one the count. <clears throat> Fouled off, evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Tyler puts a fastball here or uses his uh, fancy stuff. Well, he, he definitely can throw a curveball. We've seen that already once today, a couple times. Check swing, pop up, short outfield, and Martino pulls it in for the out that retires the side. Three up, three down. Four Hopkins. We go to the bottom of the second. No score on the scoreboard. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the second, and the meat of the Frontier order will be coming up. Jacob Bryant, Kevin Bauman, and Liam skrbisky bannock for the Frontier Red Hawks. It went down one, two, three in that first inning. And as we expected, both pitchers just dialed in. This could, like I said, come down to one, one, one run that could decide this one. Yeah, and Frontier now at the meat of the order. Uh, Jacob Bryan is a powerhouse hitter. Same with uh, Liam. <laughs> Big Jake digs in. Feltovic winds and deals. Strike one. Kicks, deals, foul tip into the mitt, and quickly, Bryant's down 0-2. Yeah, Jake, would I like, would I like to have that one back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Let's see if Feltovic throws the hook here. Pop up, and out of play. <laughs> Yeah, Frontier doesn't have as big as a backstop as some other uh, schools. It's kind of a short backstop. And the wind up in the pitch. 
pitch just inside. One and two to count. That just missed. Yeah, the ump hasn't been calling those ones. They're like right at the top of the zone. Brian steps out and now felt the Vic ready to go here. Check swing. Did he go? He's out. So Bryant strikes out. Could not hold the swing. And that's the second strikeout for Feltovic. And the batter is going to be Kevin Bauman, the right fielder. Yeah, and Kevin Dog is uh, definitely a great hitter for Frontier. I played uh, summer baseball with him. High ball one. Goes. Throw down to second, and Bauman's going to get there. Ball squirts into center field. Kevin will stay there. So a runner in scoring position with the stolen base. See if Alex can hit him in and get him in here with uh, two outs. Really needs to find the gap. Felt the Vic from the stretch. He's leaving, he's leaving. And the pitch. Strike three looking. Wow. So Felt Vic with a perfectly pitched ball there. He has four K's in this game. And that'll retire the side. No runs. No hits. One man left on. We go to the top of the third. No score. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television.
Killer in the top of the third, and it'll be Chris Mashinsky, the third baseman for Hopkins, followed by Cooper Beckwith, the second baseman in the top of the order, Brandon Braden Tudorin in center field. Yeah, stellar performances from both pitchers. As we expected it would be, it would be the case, but Baranowski's pitch inside corner, strike one. Nothing in one. No, hold up. Curve ball fouled off. So he's ahead quickly. Nothing in two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So three straight pitches. And the first strikeout of the game for Baranowski. And that'll bring up Cooper Beckwith, the second baseman. <laughs> Strike on the D's. 0-1. Yeah, so this is a bottom of the order for... Hopkins. Strike again. 0 oh 2. Baranowski's throwing some BBs out there in this third inning. Just missed. Very close. <laughs> yeah, Tyler wanted that one. 1 and 2 the count to Beckwith. Just missed oh. low. Two and two. Yeah, I think the, the ump has definitely tightened the strikes one up a little bit on yeah. both pitchers. It's very, uh, very small zone. There and that time, he got him. <laughs> two strikeouts for Baranowski this inning, and the batter is going to be Braden Tudor, who flied out to center field his first time up. Top of the order now. If he gets on, it'll be Koji Ishida. See if uh, Kronowski can keep up that, uh, throwing that heat. <laughs> Wines and deals. Curve ball. Strike. Nothing in one. These are nasty pitches from Tyler. Foul ball. Out of play. And now he has uh, two strikes on him. Ooh, good Line play. drive to right center field. And that's going to drop in for a hit. It's a two out single for Braden Tudrin. And that will bring up Koji Ishida. That's just the second hit of the game given up by Baranowski. It looks to win back. Pickoff play. <laughs> Foul back. Out of play. Yeah, the one thing about playing at Frontier is a lot of foul balls going <laughs> going to the woods. I was gonna say I don't how many we were speculating how many balls are actually in the woods over the years. Yeah, there's definitely a ton out there. <laughs> Quick pick off play just getting back was Tudorin. I never seen anybody go out and look for the balls after they go over there though. Our, uh, our summer team, I usually went out there, <laughs> are the coaches. Curveball just missed. Ooh. Usually, though, we would find, like, some old ball, <laughs> and it would be completely waterlogged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick pit. Ooh. Just getting back was tutoring. He was living dangerously out there. 
more steps. Another pick up. Ooh, that one was close too. Get up there, Let's go. Quick moves over here, and Charlie really wants to get pick him off. And two was gonna go. Ooh. Put on the second, and he oh. beat the play. He missed the tag there. Just missed it because he had him. Yeah. But Martino tried to get, couldn't get the tag down. And it's a stolen base for Braden Trudrin. So a runner in scoring position. They're first. And it looks like uh, the coach for Frontiers out there. He's probably telling him forget about the runner. Or he went out there and I think he challenged the call, right? Yeah, I think he went up to them, but... Line drive, bring him in, kid. Line drive. He just drive. wanted to get some clarification there. Baranowski, the stretch, fouled off. Loud bench over there. Yeah. <laughs> Curveball, ground ball, weak to, to first. And he feeds the pitcher, covering. Yep. The out the retires the side. Way to get out of that one. One hit, no runs, one left on. And we go to the bottom of the third, still no score. This is Red Hawk Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Yep. We go to the bottom of the third. It's going to be Dylan Martin, Sam Schreiber, and Kyle Barnes. For Frontier, as no score on the scoreboard, four strikeouts so far for Jack Feltovic. Both pitchers, as advertised, throwing gems so far. Yeah, <clears throat> and Frontier's got at the bottom of the order. They just need to get um, some base runners, like even that walk from Kevin Bauman to get to second. Frontier's only had one runner get to the second and that was Bauman in the last inning no hits so far yeah I mean, hopefully maybe uh, Frontier can get something going here should have to wait and see Feltovic Strike. Nothing in one. Another strike. So quickly, two strikes on Martin. Got a piece of pops it up into short left field. And it's hauled in for the out. That was a great play by uh, number five, uh, Koji Nishida. So Sam Schreiber, the left fielder, digs in for Frontier. And in the nine hole, which is like the second leadoff man almost. Strike. 
down the middle. Nothing in one. Let's see if this uh, heat has anything to do in the play. Curve ball just misses. One ball, one strike. Popped up, short right field. And hauled in by the right fielder, Fitzgibbons. So two up, two down. And the batter is going to be Kyle Barnes, who grounded out to second his first time up. <laughs> and we're in uh, dangerous territory over here as he's a lefty. <laughs> Barn steps out. Feltovic winds and deals. Ground ball at the plates. Foul ball, nothing in one. Curve ball just misses outside. One and one the count. Ground ball to second. And throw to first, and the ball gets by the first baseman. And Barnes will take second. And they almost threw it away there again. So Barnes is at second. <laughs> Error on the throw. Yeah, if they over, if the uh, shortstop there didn't catch it at second, um, Kyle would have took off for third. So Jake Dodge will come up now. He struck out his first time up, but a chance here for Frontier to get on the board with a base hit. That ball just died on the infield grass. It was a tough play. Foul ball. Another one in the woods. <laughs> you go in and get the balls, you come out with a bunch of ticks, too, while you're at it. True. Nothing in one to Jake Dodge. If he gets on, Ben Martino will be the hitter. And another one out of play. So two strikes. Yeah, and Kyle has speed on the bases, so base it could score him. All he needs to pull to, he's quick on second. 0 2 to dodge. <laughs> Fouled off. Staying alive, though. Yeah, he had to protect on that one. He just barely got a, a, a piece of that one. <laughs> Two strikes to dodge again. Barnes leading off of second base. <laughs> Feltovic fakes back to second. Dodge to short. Tiago to first. And that retires the side. Six to three, and that will do it for the third. We have played three. In South Deerfield, at the end of three, Frontier nothing, Hopkins nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. You go to the top of the fourth, it'll be Feltovic, Fitzgibbons, and Siaglo. Three, four, and five hitters 
for the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. No score on the scoreboard. Felt the Vic looking to help his own cars here. He's done pretty well on the mound. Yeah, and he has one hit on the night. <laughs> Curve ball, inside corner, strike one. Nothing in one. Another curve catches the corner. Quickly 0 and 2. You get the feeling the way these two guys are throwing that this is not going to be decided in seven innings. Yeah, this could go extras. But. Baranowski. Ground ball to second. Martino. It, it ate him up. That's going to be an error on Martino, and Feltovic is aboard for the second time. He singled his first time up. That one was at E4. But he is on with nobody out, and Pat Fitzgibbons, who grounded out to second, his first time up, the hitter. So now Hopkins has something going. We'll see if uh, Tyler can shut him down, though, at the plate. Baranowski from the stretch. Line drive to center field, and it's over oh. the dodge. Feltovic, round second. He's going for third, and he was staying at third. It's a double for Fitzgibbons, and just like that, two runners in scoring position for front for the Hopkins Academy Hawks, and the batter is Siaglo. And a great way to get it in quick, though. Um, he kind of faked out Feltovic. Yeah, I, thought, I think Feltovic thought Dodge was going to catch that ball, and it went over his head. He was he taken by surprise. So Siaglo is up. He flied out to right. His first time up, fouled off. 0-1. Jake Smith, the catcher, is on deck. Baranowski from the windup. Curveball high, 1-1. One one. Starting to hear some noise from the Hopkins bench. They can smell some blood in the water here. Yeah, definitely two ducks on the pond for uh, Hopkins. And now comes talking to Tyler. Baranowski going from the windup. Fouled off. One and two to Siaglo. Again, nobody out. And two on for Hopkins. Curveball fouled up and out of play. So Siago stays alive. Fouled off again. Wow. Great job of keeping himself alive. <laughs> High for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Ball low. That fills up the count. Three balls, two strikes. Again, nobody out. Ground ball to third. Knocked down, no play. So Siaglo is going to get on with a infield single. And the batter will be Jake Smith with bases loaded. He grounded out to Martino his first time up. Yeah, so two errors. It's kind of costly for Frontier there. It's Feltovic on third and Andrew Siaglo. Oh, yeah, let's go! Now, Coach Williams is going to talk it over. Don't forget, Friday afternoon, Frontier Softball as the Frontier Lady Hawks take on the Athol Red Raiders. And again, Frontier with a big showdown game Thursday night against Turner's Falls. 
That game you can hear on Bear Country. So we'll be curious to see what effect that has on Frontier on Friday as they have to come back the next day and play against Athol. Yeah, and Athol, uh, they were saying, I was talking to some of the uh, Frontier players, that Athol's a good team. Uh, well, base hit to right field. That's going to score Feltovic. And coming around to score as well <laughs> is Fitzgibbons. And just like that, it's 2 nothing an RBI single for Smith. Well, first pitch swing, and Jake Smith has two RBIs. And it's 2 nothing in favor of Hopkins. The batter's Liam Flynn, the first baseman. Still nobody out. And uh, the lefty for uh, Hopkins. <laughs> so... I'm going to watch out over you. <laughs> <laughs> he fought out to Martino his first time up. <laughs> Popped up behind the play. It's going to get a lot of play, though. Is no chance for the catcher to grab that one. <laughs> and that ball, luckily, didn't go into the woods. <laughs> yeah. Didn't go into my car, either, which is double luck. You guys lock my car? Yeah, that's one thing I worry about parking over there. <laughs> Baranowski from the stretch. Ground ball to first. It's actually in the hole. Oh. And no play. So the bases are loaded again. Tiago goes to third. Smith to second. That's going to be an infield hit for Liam Flynn. And again, the bases are loaded for Mashensky, who struck out his first time up again. We have still not recorded it out in this inning. Yeah, Frontier looked a little uh, fused there, what they were doing. No one covered first. Pop up behind the play, actually out of play. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that those errors are killers because without those errors, this doesn't happen. Yeah. Paranowski, pitch, curveball, stroked in the left. That's a base hit. And Siago scores. And it's 3 nothing as everybody moves up. Base is still loaded. <laughs> and the batter's going to be Cooper Beckwith, who struck out looking his first time up. And on deck is Tudrin. Yes. So this is becoming a big inning right now for Hopkins. Looking to blow it open. Ball one in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher. No, it's on. Yeah, so Frontier needs to get the play at home. Ground ball to third. They go home for one, so they cut down the runner at home. Everybody else moves up. It's a one out. And we go back to the top of the order to Braden Tudrin. He's a, he's a good hitter for uh, Hopkins. He's one for two. He has a single and a stolen base his last time up. And he flat out to dodge. Three-nothing Hopkins. One out. <laughs> Ishida is the on deck hitter. Curve ball fouled off. Yeah, Tyler going back to his curves, kind of working for him. I hope they have enough baseball. <laughs> and if they might be out, their <laughs> umpire's going over to the bench to try to get some more balls here. Yeah, they need someone to cut down the. I don't see kids running to the woods. The woods. They should pull the brush hog or something. <laughs> like a driving range in there, probably. Yeah. Baranowski from the windup. And base is loaded. 
and field is in. Strike. There we go. That's a big strikeout as they catch a Tudrin looking. Two outs, and the batter is going to be Koji Ishida, who grounded out to first his last time up and flat out to shortstop, so he's 0 for 2. Line drive, kid, line drive. <laughs> High for a ball. I think in one, or one and nothing actually. <laughs> Swing and a miss. One and one. If a shooter gets on, Feltovic will be the hitter. Who led off the inning. And he reached on a error. Curveball, swing and a miss. One and two. That curveball is really doing good for uh, Bernowski. Who's going fishing? <laughs> High for a ball, two balls, two strikes. Bench is uh, definitely rowdy over there. A little too much sugar in the Gatorade, I think. <laughs> Brynowski working on the stretch. You know, the bases are loaded. And he steps off the rubber. And the pitch. Curveball and fishing. And that's a strikeout, and that retires the side. Big strikeout. Hopkins leaves three on, but they score three. At the end of three and a half, it's Hopkins three. Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins and Tom Albert are back out here at South Deerfield. The Frontier Red Hawks got to get something going here. They trail now. 3-0 after a big inning fueled by a couple of errors in the field by the Hawks. And Jack Feltovic showing no signs of tiring on the mound. It's going to be Martino, Bryant, and Bauman, the hitters, for Frontier. Yeah, hopefully uh, Ben Martino can get something going. He's, uh, he's a great hitter. Well, we've heard talk, a lot of talk about Frontier's ability to come back in late innings. They're going to have to, but they're going up against... Not an ordinary pitcher here in uh, Jack Feltovic, who's been spinning a gem so far. Low for a ball, one, one and nothing to Martino. High ball, too. 2-0. And, oh. and way, way to lay off those ones <laughs> by Martino. <laughs> Good hitters count here. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. 2-1 the count. Swing and a miss. That evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Now Martino's got to protect and see if Feltovic goes fastball or some fancy stuff. High for a ball. That even that loads up the count. Three balls, two strikes. Let's see what Feltovic decides to throw here. And Martino protects the plate, fouls it off. Still alive. Yeah, hopefully Ben Martino can get on here for Frontiers. They need to get something going early to get those three runs back. And he walks. So Martino is aboard based on balls. You gotta wonder if Feltovic is on a pitch count of any kind. A lot of pitchers are these days. 
Jacob Bryant comes in now, the first baseman. He struck out his first time up. Martino at second. Something tells me he's not going to be there for long. But first, rather. High for a ball. 1-0. Feltovic now kind of trying to find the zone. Well, looks like he's aiming the ball a little bit. Yeah, and the um, tightening up that zone really doesn't help. Yeah. Pop up. We're good, we're good, we're good. Out of play. Evens account at one ball, one strike to Jacob Bryant. Seems like a ton of balls in the uh, woods over there. Martino leads off first. And he, he goes. Throw down to second, and Martino is going to be safe. So a stolen base for Ben. The referee, I think, or the umpire had to think about it a little bit. But I think Ben got in there. So runner in score position for Frontier. And Bryant still in the batter's box. Yeah, we'll see. Uh... Fouled off. Another one goes into the woods. And Jacob Bryant doing a good job of staying alive. The baseball eating woods, we'll call him. <laughs> it's a truck eating bridge in Northampton. <laughs> Felt the Vic Ooh. fakes back. Nobody really holding Martino on at second. They don't want to take too many chances here. Down by three against this guy. Now the truck stops there. High for a ball. Great eye there by uh, Bryant. Count is full. She's a powerhouse hitter for Frontier. Bryant pops it up behind second base. This could be trouble. And it falls in for a hit. So a bloop single. Yeah. A gork. And Bryant is on first. Martino gets into third safely, and just like that, the Hawks have something going here. Runners at the corners, nobody out, and Kevin Bauman is the hitter. He walked and reached second his last time up. And that's just what the Hawks needed. <laughs> and now uh, Kevin Bauman, the uh, right fielder for Frontier. Base hit, may score one. One big swing ties it, if he can get a hold of one. Bryant leads off first. He's going to go. Oh, he's going go down to second, and he is going to be. Oh, he dropped it. Dropped the ball. And Ben well, scores. <laughs> well, <laughs> Ben scored. But Bryant fell off the bag, and they, they called him out. Coach Williams is going to question it. Yeah. He had him. I mean, he, Bryant beat the, the tag, but then apparently overslid the bag, they're saying. And Seattle was able to come back and tag him. And Chris Williams is not happy about it. He's talking it over with the ump. Yeah, definitely from our angle, he dropped the ball there. But he picked it back up and tagged him. So we called him out. Now the refs, now the umps are going to discuss it. And this is big, potentially, because if he's in there, then that's another runner in scoring position. That would be the first out of the game if he's not. Of the inning, rather. He's out. Ah. So they catch Bryant stealing. Martino scores, so it's 3 1 Hopkins. Now Kevin Bauman's got to re get it going. And Liam Skrabiski Bennick is on deck. So still some power here, potentially. Yeah, hopefully Bauman can get on for Frontier. Curveball in for a strike. Three one is the score. Teltovic. Curveball high. That's one of those you'd like to have instant replay to be able to see exactly what happened. 
Yeah. High for a ball. And the ump over there, the first base on P, maybe, you know. Well, he was right on top of it. You yeah. can't say he wasn't there for the call, but. Yeah. It's a good call. It's tough if you're a uh, frontier and catching a break. Not catching a break. And it's going to be a walk. So Bauman's aboard for the second time today via the base on balls. And the batter will be Skabriski Bannock, who struck out his first time up. <coughs> yeah, and Kevin, he has two walks on the night. So uh, way to get on for Frontier. Skabriski Bannock is the DH today. Bauman leading off first. Strike. Nothing in one. And Gachinski is on deck, followed by Dylan Martin. See if the bottom of the order can get something going. Bauman is going to go. You throw it on the second, and it goes into center field. So Bauman is safe. Virtually the same thing he did last time he was up. Stole, uh, stole a base after walking. So Bauman's in scoring position. Liam's a good powerhouse hitter for uh, Frontier, so it's only one out. Feltovic, high for a ball. Good round ball to third. Base hit. Yes. Through the hole. Bauman around to third. <coughs> Skabriski Bannock is on first. The tying run is at first, and Gachinski is going to be the hitter. <laughs> And it looks like uh, Ian Spearns with his wheels on the, he's good speed. He'll pinch run for Liam. Yep. Courtesy runner. And uh, Skrbisky Bannock will stay as the first base coach. Alex Kaczynski struck out looking his last time up. So a base hit, well, you have to think that uh, Ian Spearance is going to steal here. But the catcher's not, not afraid to throw it down. Kaczynski muscles it out into right field for a base hit. That's going to score Bauman. And the Hawks have trimmed the deficit to 3-2. to two. That was a great base knock by Alex Kaczynski. Right in the gap. RBI single for Alex. And that will bring up Dylan Martin, the catcher. 3-2 now. Frontier having a big inning. One out. Two on. Yeah. Uh, Dylan has to take off his uh, catcher's gear. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So the Hawks have gotten a little bit to uh, Feltovic here in the fourth. Yeah, we'll see what... Uh, Although, oh. I'm going to pinch hitter. It looks like they're going to bring in... Shane Prusak. Shane Prusak, who's also a catcher. So Prusak hits for Martin. <laughs> My guess is he'll probably stay in there as catcher. Oh, <laughs> it looks like he, uh, he may bunt here. <laughs> Runners at first and second. So Prusak, the pitch hitter for Frontier. And, yep, he bunts it, but he bunts it over the backstop. Out of play. So now Hopkins knows it's coming. <laughs> Sam Schreiber is on deck. See if Shane Prusak can get something done here. High for a ball, one and one the count. Let's see if they'll attempt a double steal here. Yeah, both 
both have good wheels. One out, two on. Veltovic. And going down to third, the oh, throw, he's oh. out. Cut down hard as uh, they got Spirin. So Spirin is nailed, trying to steal. Kaczynski takes second. So two out. And a runner at second. Yeah, so I don't think Ian's too happy about that. Well, that wasn't even close. I mean, yeah. Swing and a miss, and Pruzak strikes out. So, inning is over. A bit of a squander there for Frontier, but they get two runs. At the end of four, it's Hopkins three, Frontier two. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. We go to the top of the fifth inning here in South Deerfield. It's going to be Jack Feltovic, Pat Fitzgibbons, and Andrew Siaglo. The hitters for Hopkins. And this is how the last inning started. Last time up, Feltovic reached on an error, and he singled, so he's... One for two. He scored a run, one of the three runs for Hopkins. Yeah, Frontier's just got to clean up a little bit on the infield. Yeah, it's open. Uh, play like they usually do. Baranowski from the stretch for the uh, windup, rather. And the pitch. Curveball strike. And that's a way to start the. That's a tantalizing hook he throws. Yeah. <laughs> Starting off the end and right. High and inside, wall, one ball, one strike. <laughs> Pop up. Out of play. One and two to count. That one looks like it didn't get into the woods. <laughs> There's a ton of foul balls out there. Curveball just misses high. <laughs> Another high curveball. Just got to go back to the fastball here. <laughs> Ground ball to short. Gobbled up by Barnes. Threw to first. He's out. So Feltovic cut down 6-3. One out. And the batter will be Pat Fitzgibbons. Who doubled his last time up. Scored a run. And grounded out to second. His first time up. So he's one for two. Yeah, and that was a great play by uh, Kyle to uh, Jacob Prime. Two, uh, two seniors and two captains for Frontier. Baranowski. Her ball fouled off. Nothing in one. Oh, he beamed him. He's gonna. Uh, that seemed to pump him up a little bit. <laughs> so Fitzgibbons takes one in the back, and he uh, 
goes to first. Runner on for Andrew Siaglo. Siaglo reached out an error his last time up, scored a run, and flat out to right field his first time up. You know, Hopkins may have something going. They have speed on the bases, too. Fly ball, short right field. Martino behind second base, makes the catch. Great play there by uh, Ben Martino. Sorry. So two out, and the batter will be Jake Smith. Yeah, that was... He singled home the first two runs his last time up. Yeah, you had uh, um, Kevin Bauman there charging in, and luckily Ben Martino called him off to make the play. So now Fitzgibbons leads off first from the stretch. Fitzgibbons is going, and the throw down to second, and he's going to get in there with a stolen base. Uh -oh. Ball squirts into center field, but Fitzgibbons has the bag. He stays where he is. <laughs> so runner in scoring position for Smith. <laughs> Curveball, strike. Oh. That is nasty. He's been throwing <laughs> like that all day. Can't get better than that. Fly ball. Center field dodge. Pulls it in for the out. And retires aside. So the hit by pitch is harmless. And we go now to the bottom of the fifth. Hopkins 3, Frontier 2. This is Red Hot Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television. It'll be Schreiber, Barnes, and Dodge, the hitters for Frontier. As we start off the bottom of the fifth inning, Frontier trailing 3-2. to two. Been a dandy here from South Deerfield. Perfect weather for it. Although we've lost a lot of balls in the woods today. That's the only, that's the only downside. That and them becoming a hot lunch for the mosquitoes, but beyond that. <laughs> so Schreiber, flat out to center his first time up. Jack Feltovic back up on the hill for Hopkins. Swing and a miss, strike one. Just got to keep his head in there. Good inside heat there by Feltovic. Pop up. Third baseline. And he dropped it. Oh, that is a break for Frontier. Yeah. <laughs> As the ball was dropped by the third baseman, Mashensky. So that is a potentially a costly error. As Schreiber is aboard with nobody out, and Barnes is the hitter. Yeah, top of the order here for Frontier. Barnes reached on an error his first time, uh, last time up, got as far as second, and grounded out to second. Ball outside. Great eye there by Kyle. So two errors for Frontier in this game, and now the first committed by Hopkins. <coughs> Schreiber leads off first. Strike on the outside corner. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. Sam takes off to second. Schreiber. And he's going to get there. Speed. Ball into center field. Backed up by the center fielder. So Schreiber is in at second with the stolen base. Tying the run is at second for Barnes. Yeah, no outs here. So this is, uh, this is crucial if you're Frontier. Try to tie this game up. Barnes pokes it into left field. Koji has it. And he's out. First out of the inning for Frontier, and the batter will be Jake Dodge, grounded out to second. Or short, rather, his first time up, or last time up, and he struck out. 
If he gets on, Martino will be up for the Hawks. Schreiber at second, representing the tying run for the Red Hawks. And Dodge shows bunt, strike. Yeah, Jake Dodge needs to now focus on the, oh, they're doing the same plan. That one was high for a ball. Yeah, and that was a good good eye by Jake Dodge to lay off that pitch. Pull back the bunt. Fouled off. Into the woods. <laughs> it's probably been like 10 or so balls out there. And yeah, that's not cheap, by the way. Someone's going to go in and get those because you can't just, there's not an unlimited amount of foresight in there to be used. Yeah. Baseballs are now, in this day and age, are really expensive. Yeah. Ball in the dirt. <laughs> Full count there, I think. Dodge pokes at the third. Knocked down, but there's no play. Great speed on the bases to really dig that one out by Jake Dodge. Didn't give him a hit on that one. I think that was one of those that just gobbled the third baseman up. So runners at first and second, and the battle is going to be Ben Martino. And this was Ben was in a familiar spot here in the sixth inning against Amherst Saturday. Two on and hit two on triple. <coughs> yeah, he's a he's a phenomenal hitter for Frontier. Ball low in the dirt. Feltovic showing some signs of fatigue here, I think. He's had a couple pitches in the dirt the last uh, couple of batters. We haven't seen that all day. And it's definitely a hot day. Good weather, though. Martino flies to center field. And, and nice play. Catches made. They tag and going to third. And he's safe. Yeah, great heads-up play there by uh, Sam Schreiber. So Schreiber gets to third, dodge to second. Martino flies out to the right fielder. So two gone, and the batter is Jake Bryant. Singled his first time up, caught stealing on a somewhat controversial play at second. But this is just where Jake Bryant wants to be. With two on. We run is at second, tying one is at third. Jake Bryan is a powerhouse hitter for Frontier. Strike on the inside corner. Nothing in one. Now he's, now he's ready. He's seen it. Low for a ball. One and one. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Two runners on. Two out for Frontier. Brian gets on. Kevin Bauman will be the hitter. Yeah, and Kevin has uh, two walks on the night. He's waiting for his. And he scored a run. Yeah. Just low. Two balls, one strike. Woohoo. He felt that they wanted that one. Here we go, Jack. Right here. Get Count 3 1 there? 2 1. Right. That's what I have. I could be wrong, but. Now it's 3 and 1. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, so Fultovic definitely feeling that fatigue in this inning. <laughs> I don't know if Hopkins has anybody up in the bullpen yet. It's a big, uh, big pitch here. Oh, and he laid off of it. And that evens the count at the full lose the count at three and two. Well, that was a nasty pitch. <laughs> now full count. He's got to protect. 
and he walks. So Bryant laid off the curveball, so he's on. With a base on balls, so the runners at every base, and Bauman is the hitter. Base is juiced for Kevin Bauman. Is, uh, <laughs> Again, two outs, bases loaded. First time that the Hawks have had the bases loaded in this game. Low for a ball. Great eye there by uh, Kev Dog. If he gets on, Skrbisky Bannock will be the hitter with DH. Yeah. Bauman's walked twice and scored a run. He's also stolen two bases. Strike. That's the letters. One ball, one strike. Now he's ready. Low for a ball. Two balls, one strike. And now a good hitter's count here for Kevin. Feltovic is two balls away from walking in the tying run. Yeah, Feltovic is these long counts not helping him out. High ball three. Three balls, one strike. Could walk in the tying run. Now he's, uh, he's complaining over there to his bench. Will he be on the take in here? We'll see. The frontier's bench making some noise. Strike. Full count, three and two. Runners will be off. Two outs on the pitch. Kevin's got to protect here. And he left it. He walks in the tying run. Schreiber scores, and it's three to three. And great eye by Kevin Bauman. That's a big walk, and I'll tell you, that's his third walk of the game. Yeah. And that's just the way to do it, you know. He's very composed at the plate. Well, I don't think Frontier's done yet. They got another big dog, Liam skrbisky bannock up there with the bases loaded, and... See two out. Yeah, this two out rally here for Frontier. Way to lay, lay it off that one. Ball one. And now the pitching coach is coming out for. Now that might be it for. That might be it for Feltovic. As he's definitely showing signs of fatigue. Yeah, and he's. Uh, I don't think he's happy with. Yeah, I'm calling, but you know, I think the home plate ump is really. Yeah, I don't think it's th th um, called a bad game. I think that he's just he's having a tough time. I mean, he's throwing a couple pitches in the dirt, which we haven't seen all day until this past inning. And you know, this is unfortunately the mo of this frontier team. If you're playing them, they get hot in the, lo the later innings, and that's what's happening here. It seems and we're all tied up at three. Big at bat for here. Uh, I think if if. Skibisky Bennett gets on here. You're, you might see a pitching change. Feltovic strike down the middle. Now it counts one and one. Dodge at third. Bryant at second. And Bauman at first. Strike. A quick pickoff move to third. <laughs> Dodge was already back on the bag. Yeah, just keep him awake over there, you know. <laughs> Two strikes on Skrbisky Bannock. Fouled off, protect the plate. Stays alive. Yeah, so Feltovec really, after that talk with his coach, Pound in the zone. Right back to where he was. Uh, Pop up. Short stop. Siaglo puts it away. And Frontier strands three, but they tie it up at the end of five. Frontier three, Hopkins three. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by 
Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Liam Flynn, Chris Mashensky, and Cooper Beckwith will be the hitters, the 7 8 9 hitters for Hopkins here in the top of the sixth. Brand new ball game now. Baranowski still on the hill for the Hawks. The Red Hawks, that is. Yeah, and it looks like uh, both pitchers, they're probably pitching out of the strike, the pitch, pitch count. Um, they may go all the way. Well, this is a big, a big game, battle of unbeaten, so it's a rivalry game. This is, uh, this could be a future, like, playoff contention. Flynn, single to reach third his last time up, but he flat out to second, his first time up. A great way to start the inning by uh, Tyler Branowski to swing and a miss, strike one to William Flynn. Strike two on the outside corner, so quickly he's ahead on Flynn, 0-2. Oh and, and that'll tip into the net, strike three. So Flynn is down on strikes. And the batter will be Chris Mashensky. Single to reach second his last time up and struck out his first time up. Yeah, so this is the bottom of the order for uh, Hopkins, 7 eight, nine, you know. Uh, Mashensky up. Change up. Ooh, just missed. One to know to Mashensky. Swing and a miss. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. <laughs> Curveball. Fouled off down the third baseline. One and two the count. Beckwith is on deck, and if he gets on, back to the top of the order and Braden Tudorin. Fouled off in the woods. You got to believe someone's going to go out there and get him. <laughs> Curveball just oh, ducking out of the way that was Mashinsky. That one went up a little bit high. Two balls, two strikes. Low for a ball. Three and two to count now. <coughs> yeah, and Tyler's a quick pitch um, pitcher. Fouled off. So Mashensky protects the plate. It's another one in the woods. Yep. <laughs> Swing and a miss. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Baranowski, and the batter will be Cooper Beckwith. Tyler's locked in in these last two innings. Beckwith reached in a fielder's choice his last time up, and he struck out looking his first time up. So the nine hole. Strike right down the middle. Nothing in one to Cooper Beckwith. The second baseman for Hopkins. Fouls it off. Quickly ahead, 0-2. And, and 
the leadoff uh, hitter for Hopkins is waiting on deck. Uh, Braden Trudeau. Tudrin. Tudrin. Just low. One ball, two strikes. Just inside. That evens the count at two and two. <clears throat> Swing and a miss. So Baranowski strikes out the side. Three straight strikeouts for Baranowski, and that is great. And you couldn't pick a better time to do it either. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. All tied up at three. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. <clears throat> It'll be Gachinski, the catcher, and Schreiber, the hitters for Frontier. So seven, eight, and nine. Here we're tied 3-3. Feltovic is still on the mound, although in the warm-ups, he fired one over the catcher's head, which we have not seen him do today. So I think some fatigue is setting in, but we'll see. <coughs> he really dialed it in, um, that last batter. Um, get that, uh, is it a strikeout? Yeah, he, was getting, he was a little rattled, I think, in that, uh, in that last half inning, and the coach came out and calmed him down a bit, but... So it's going to be Gachinski, Martin, and Schreiber, the hitters. Eight, nine, and top of the order. Gachinski single reached second his last time up and struck out looking his first time. So he's one and two, one of two today. Yeah, and Frontier's bench is really loud, <laughs> loud and proud. Well, they can they can feel it now. They were pretty quiet when they were trailing. Ground ball first. A, oh, balls! Actually, the ball got knocked loose. It was it was handled by the first baseman, but he the ball scored out of his mitt, so it's going to be an infield single for Gachinski. Yeah, that was a great hit by a uh, hard hit ball. Yeah, that was a hard hit ball. Is right. So Gachinski's on. Martin is the hitter. Martin shows bunt. Ooh. Doesn't do it, though. High ball one. Yeah, way to pull it back. And not a great pitch. And down. Gachinski off first. Showing bunt again. Ball two. And Feltovic really needs to dial in now. Well, that's three consecutive balls, so three and oh to Martin. Yeah, is he having a hard time finding the zone? That one time he found it. Three and one the count. Martin taking all the way. Strike. That fills up the count. Three balls, two strikes. Finish it up, Jack. Finish it up. Uh, Swing and a miss. Strike three. It's a big strikeout. As Martin was ahead of him, three balls, no strikes, and Feltovic picks up the K. One down. And the batter is going to be Sam Schreiber. Followed by the top of the order, Barnes. Strike in the inside corner, nothing in one. Yeah, so Feltovic now absolutely pounding the zone. Kaczynski leads off first. He takes Kuczynski off. goes. Ball in the dirt. Kaczynski's going to take it, standing up. Still, but didn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> so the lead run is on second, one out, and Schreiber still at the plate. Trevor reached on an error and 
scored a run, stole a base last time up. Swing and a miss. So now uh, Schreiber's got to protect here. Two strikes on him. Great hit, though. He that pokes it in the right center field. That's going to get down. Gachinski is going to score. Schreiber, around Hands second, up. headed for third. He's going to have a stand-up triple. What Schreiber. A what an outstanding hit by uh, Sam Schreiber. Holy cow. And Frontier leads 4-3. to three. Their first lead of the game, and more importantly, Jack Feltovic is done for the day. So they chase Feltovic. What a great... That was awesome. <laughs> and the new pitcher for Hopkins will be, it looks like, Andrew Siaglo. Yeah, and Feltovic is going to go over to shortstop, it looks like. So nothing to be ashamed of. Feltovic pitched a great game, but again, the comeback kids, the Frontier Red Hawks, this time it was Schreiber with the triple. He's on third. Gachinski scores. Yeah, that was a, that was a great play there. Um, great heads-up play. <laughs> we have a pitching change. This game is coming in from South Deerfield with the score Frontier 4, Hopkins 3. You have uh, top of the order coming up, Kyle Barnes. So. Yeah, Barnes flat out to left his last time up. Reached on an error and ground out to second. So he's due. He got as far as third base. Yeah, and Kyle's, Kyle's a great hitter. I uh, played summer ball with him, and he's always been phenomenal at the plate. So the junior, Andrew Siaglo, comes in in relief for Feltovic. Everyone in the order, and they can do a good, great job hitting. Frontier, hopefully they want to extend that lead. So Barnes now is digging in for the Red Hawks. One ball, no strikes. Infield is in on the grass, thinking to play at the plate. One out, one on. Frontier leads four to three. Siaglo deals. Foul ball down the first baseline. If he hits it to the outfield, that would be a good RBI. Uh, Pop up. Short right field. And the second baseman hauls it in, just on the edge of the grass. Two down. Now batting is uh, Jake Dodge, number two. Dodge singled, reached third his last time up. He also grounded out to short, and he struck out his first time up. Got as far as third his last time. Curve ball by Seattle, good pitch, strike one. He was looking like Tyler Branoski there. <laughs> <laughs> Another curveball, strike Ooh. two. That time Dodge took a hack at it, but no go. Nothing in two to Jake. <laughs> Outside, poor ball, one ball, two strikes. Again, the runner at third is Schreiber, courtesy of the triple. Which is the go-ahead run. Uh, Swing and a miss. Dodge is down on strikes, and that will end the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh, and Frontier has their first lead. Frontier four, Hopkins three. 
This is Red Hot Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Tyler Baranowski will come out to see if he can get the complete game win. As the Frontier Red Hawks lead Hopkins 4-3, to three, courtesy of the triple by Schreiber in that last bottom of the sixth, which yeah. ended up scoring the runner and giving Frontier their first lead. Yeah, and Frontier, uh, for last inning, Tyler Bronowski pitching an absolute um, gem. And he, he three straight strikeouts. Yep. That's the first time anybody struck out the side in this game so far. And it seems like he's getting stronger as the, as the late innings go. So we'll see if he can finish it off at his own accord here. They'll have to deal at the top of the order. Braden Tudrin, Koji Ishiwa, and Jack Veltovic. Some strong hitters for uh, Hopkins. Definitely is. Um. He shoot a single his last time up, and he flied out to center field. Excuse me, that's uh, Tudrin. Round ball to second. Martino stabs it. Throws the first in the dirt. He's out. Oh! Bryant dug it out. Nice play. What a great play there by Martino to Bryant with the pick. Okay, that was that was a great pick by Bryant. That ball was in the dirt. Martino did a good job to stop. That was a lost shot to second. Good play all around. And the battle is going to be Ishida, who struck out his last time up. He's 0 for 3 in this game. Strike at the knees. Nothing in one. High inside. One ball, one strike. <laughs> Some words. <laughs> it's first time. Pop up behind the, the plate. Yeah. And put away by Ooh. the pitcher. Great play there by Dylan Martin. Heads up play. And so Hopkins is down to their final out. And it's Jack Feltovic, who's now the shortstop. He was the pitcher. And uh, unless Hopkins can rally here, he stands to lose this game. But believe me, pitched a great game. Baranowski on the line. The pitch. Low ball one. Nothing, uh, one and a oh to Feltovic. If he gets on, Pat Fitzgibbons. Will be the hitter. Two and zero. Oh. <laughs> Again, both these teams are unbeaten on the season. Frontier four and zero. Hopkins two and zero. Three and zero now to Feltovic. Tyler's got to bring it all the way back. Well, he's been very careful with Feltovic all day today. He's been throwing him a lot of curveballs, curve not giving him much of anything to swing at. A strike. There we go. Three balls, one strike. We'll see if Feltovic has the green light here. I'm guessing he probably does. And he walks. So based on balls, the tying run in the presence of Feltovic now at first base in the battle is Pat Fitzgibbons. With a hit by a pitch and stole a base his last time up. He doubled and scored a run and grounded out to second in this game. We'll see where um, Bernowski pitches him. He just kicked dirt on the catcher? Yeah. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's that's uh, pretty disrespectful. It's pretty disrespectful. And a fly ball, short center field. Dodge and a catch! What a phenomenal catch by Jake Dodge, and Frontier wins the game. Dodge, what a play! A diving catch, and Frontier wins it four to three. And look at the celebration as Jake Dodge, a great athletic play in center field to end this titanic battle of unbeatens. Now the Frontier Red Hawks with some good defense there in the last inning 
<laughs> comes away with a big 4-3 win over the Hopkins Academy go over the Hawks. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, that's the best best way you can go to win a game right there. Ooh. And now some appreciation there. Oh, Can't get better than that, honestly. Frontier Red Hawks come from behind. They win it with the RBI triple by Schreiber in the sixth and two great defensive plays in the top of the seventh to make the win stand up. And that's how it ends. Frontier moves to 5-0 and on the season. Hopkins drops to 2-1 and on the season. That'll do it for our coverage of Frontier Regional High School Baseball. For our broadcast partner, Tom Albert, I'm Chris Collins. And for Kevin Murphy, Alan Gecko, Meg and Self, and the whole FCAT crew here. So long from South Deerfield, the final score for the final time. Frontier beats Hopkins 4-3. So long from South Deerfield.